Hi there. Good morning. Good morning, Elizabeth Warren. Thank you so much for joining me in my studio here live in Dallas, Texas. I really appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Well, I want my audience to know you're going to tell us about the 2015. It's kind of early, but you're going to tell us about the toy trends. You know, they call you the toy industry premium player, so I know you know the best toys. Yes, and you know, at Toy Fair, I get to see 150,000 new toys. We fill seven and a half football fields full of toys, all brand new from over 100 countries. So I'm excited to share some of the things that I have found this year for you. Okay, let me ask you, does your toy knowledge come from the fact that you've worked with QVC and Spin Master? Is that where you got your, your expertise to I be called the you, industry? Yeah, exactly. I started off at QVC working with toys with them and then slowly but surely became immersed in the toy industry. And yeah, I worked in-house for a couple of really great toy companies, Worlds Apart, Spin Master, traveled around and learned so much from inside. And now I get to share that information as a mom to parents and share what I find out there that I love. Okay, tell me about the International Toy Fair and the toys that you're seeing there. Yes, yeah, so over 150,000 new toys brought to us from 100 different countries. There are over 1,000 vendors. And one of my favorite vendors out there is Lego. Now, this is something we all know and we love. We grew up with Legos. But the Lego Friends line was developed a few years ago, and it is one of their most popular themes now. This is the Lego Friends. Heart Lake Grand Hotel. Look at this gorgeous hotel, <laughs> beautifully appointed. On the back here on the side you can't see are all these gorgeous, beautiful rooms. Every room customizable. It comes with all these parts, the beds and the juicers and the showers and the grand piano and the fountain, chandeliers. It comes with everything, but your child decides where they'd like to place all those parts. So wonderfully imaginative. So they build and then they play, which is fabulous. And you're right. That's not like my kids' Lego. We had a great time, but those are really super. E wonderful. And, you know, one of the things that we're also looking at this year is taking some modern technology and adding that modern technology into something traditional. So here we've got our modern technology. I place her onto the beautiful VTech GoGo -Go Smart Friends Busy Sounds Discovery Home. And throughout the home, there are these wonderful magical point locations. And as we take our little character and we move her around the house, she's going to be able to play and have fun and interact and light up and sing and do a variety of things. So those points are throughout the entire house, which I love. How awesome. Yes. So now what about crafting? Every year everyone wants to know what's new. Well, Hasbro's come out with the Da Vinci Color Maker Kit. Now, these are the makers of Play-Doh, and this is a brand new compound. This design compound is a little lighter, a little easier to play with, sort of more like frosting. We're going to take it and customize it. We're going to make our own colors. We we'll simply move that different uh, colors into one tube. So we do that ourselves. Now, once we've customized, we take that tube, place it into our styler tool, and watch this. Easy as can be, we can trace over anything. That becomes a three-dimensional piece of art. Once you're done fully decorating that, you can display it. It hardens overnight, and it stays in its wonderful three-dimensional form. I'm loving this sneak peek you're giving us, Elizabeth. This is just really awesome. Thank you. I have to say it's really fun for me to be able to play with these <laughs> new toys. Now, here's another one I found that I just adore. These are the Moose Toys Little Live Pets Owl and baby bird. Now here is what we talk about, pure magic to a child. Electronic pets came out last year. They were butterflies, they were birds, but now we've got an owl and a baby bird together. And what do they do? They interact with one another. They sing, they chirp, they nurture their little birdies, and the more they nurture and the more they play, the more they're gonna hear. What I like is that when you put mama near her baby, she feeds the baby. Oh. The baby burped, so sorry. That was the baby's <laughs> moment of, of to shine, and, and it burped. But I love that. And those pets allow our children to nurture and have fun, but there's no mess. It's a pet with no mess. Well, I want my audience to stay with us because we're going to give away a few of your toys after I finish talking with you. All right, anything else you have for us? This is too much fun. I <laughs> just think you preparing for this has got to be fun. It is. I have to say, you know, playing with toys is a pretty cool job to have, and I feel very blessed. My kids and I play a lot at home. That's my lab. But another thing that's really popular are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, last year, this is one of the number one selling ideas and toys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are always hot. This year we see the Playmates Toys Mutations Pet Turtle to Ninja Turtle action figures. 
Now, what does this mean? Well, what it means is for the first time ever, they've created a mutating fun toy where we start off as a baby turtle. In the story, you know, those baby turtles had this ooze that fell all over them and they turned into a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Well, now your child can transform from baby turtle into that favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle they love so much. And when they do that, they're going to be able to act out all those scenes that they love. And that's what we like to see as parents, that fun, imaginative play. It is, and you can get the movie and you'll be a hit parent. Exactly, exactly. And you know, when we watch our children play, we take pleasure and joy in knowing that that's a big part of their social development. There are a lot of things that they're getting from that, and they're learning while they're playing. It's really a magical thing to enjoy watching as a parent. If my audience can't get to the Toy Fair, because it's for manufacturers and distributors, as I found out, how can they find out more about what's going on at the Toy Fair? Yes, yeah, so you can definitely check out our website, which is WernerInfo.com. Also, check out the Toy Industry Association website. They have lots of exciting things going on there, and although this is closed to the public, all these exciting items, you're going to see them throughout the course of the year, 2015. These are sneak peeks, Elizabeth, and I think you're going to come back maybe in a day or two and tell us about the Roundup, all the things that have happened. So I really appreciate you talking about the toys. I'm excited. I don't have any kids, and I'm still excited. Well, I'm excited to come back and share with you. After <laughs> I go through seven and a half football fields full of toys, I'll be back. Thank you, Elizabeth Warner. That's why they call you the toy expert. Thank you very much. Thank you.